Hey, it's Steve. There are some things we are just better off without. <laughs> Our lungs would be happier if it was never exposed to cigarette smoke. Our livers would be better off if it wasn't stuff with fat. And our brains would be better if our immune systems never developed a mess. They all have one thing in common. They cause inflammation. And they do it by activating a certain protein called NLRP3. Study after study suggests that the NLRP3 inflammasome hurts more than helps. It's associated at multiple major steps in the disease development, such as initial inflammation, T cell skewing, CNS barrier breakdown, and neurodegeneration. In my experience, when I used to eat food, all it did was amplify my symptoms. Leave a comment below and tell me if you if it does the same to you. I said it before, there is no way to stop food inflammation. It's just going to happen, but there is a way to work around it and stop chronic inflammation and prevent negative effects like fatigue. You might ask yourself why you should eat just one meal a day. <laughs> it's simple. Fight multiple sclerosis and stop the NLRP inflammasome from creating havoc. It's highlighted in this paper. Right off the bat, it states, 24 hours of fasting is known to blunt activation of the NLRP3 inflammasome. One thing that happens to the body when you adopt the one meal a day life, it causes the body to become stressed that sounds funny. One meal a day causes stress. I've been doing it for years and I don't feel stressed. In fact, I feel quite the opposite. I feel energized. But on a molecular level, fasting causes our cells to experience the stress. Recently, I found something that might well stop it. It's called beta hydroxybutyrate. It's a naturally occurring ketone salt. Just to catch you up, ketones are chemicals made in your liver. You produce them when you don't have enough of the hormone insulin in your body to turn sugar into, into energy. So your body uses fat instead. Your liver turns the fat into ketones, which is a type of acid, and sends them into your bloodstream. You can supplement them like I do when in a fasted state. Ketones can cross the blood brain barrier and provide the energy to the brain in the absence of glucose. Beta hydroxybutyrate provides energy and stops the NLRP3 inflammasome at the same time. Eating only one meal a day has changed my life. And I feel my MS has left a long time ago. 
In fact, I don't even remember the last time I felt a single symptom. So I would definitely recommend picking up some beta hydroxybutyrate and trying it out for yourself. I'm used to fasting, but maybe this could help ease hunger. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if it does. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one.